guys, it's Sarah, and today I wanted to do a currently reading video. I've actually never done one of these. I don't know, I've always thought it was weird to talk about books that I was currently reading that I was just going to talk about in a wrap-up, but honestly, I'm in the middle of a lot of books, and I haven't been doing as many wrap-ups because I haven't been finishing the books that I'm in the middle of, so I just thought it would be nice to just go through and tell you all what I've been reading. So the first book that I've been reading for a while is And I Darkened by Kirsten White. I've been listening to this on audio. Basically, this is an alternate retelling of the Ottoman Empire, and it centers around a young girl named Lada and her brother Radu, and basically they are from a faraway land called Valahia, and they are taken and forced to go live in the Ottoman Empire. I've been listening to this audiobook for quite some time now. I like it. I think the writing style is very nice. I do like the characters. Lada is a very badass female character. She says a lot of things that are very quotable and very likable and she's trying to break through glass ceilings even though she's in the Ottoman Empire. She's a modern woman. But to be honest, this book is extremely slow. I feel like it's told through small like short vignettes of their life and only recently has it kind of like built up to a coherent plot but a lot of the beginning of the book is just a lot of time jumps and them growing up and I just haven't really loved it to be honest and like I said it's been taking me a very long it's kind of a long audiobook in general but it's just taking me forever to finish I still have like an hour left so hopefully that will be in my November wrap up the next book we have is the girls and this is a sort of Charles Manson cult retelling. Basically it takes place in 1969 and our main character is 14 and she gets caught up with these girls who are part of a cult. Everyone who's talked about this book has mentioned Charles Manson so I thought it was literally going to be about the Manson murders but it's not it's some other guy so that's confusing but I know murders are going to happen and there's a cult like the main cult guy has like a harem of women and it's kind of told in two different time periods of the main character's life like it's told now and then it's told when she was 14 but both of them are kind of her adult self talking about it so it's very good so far I really like it it's really interesting it, I've actually been reading it fairly quickly and it's very dark and makes me a little depressed whenever I read it, but kind of in a good way. The last couple of books I want to show you are sort of books that I've been reading for an absurdly long time, and in a way I've almost DNF'd them, but I have the intention of finishing them because some of them I only have like 50 to 100 pages left, and then some of them I just like need to finish. The first one being A Torch Against the Night by Sabah Tahir. Basically what had happened was I was listening to this on audio through Penguin. They have an app for book reviewers, and I was listening to it, and I got all the way through the audiobook, and then it just kind of ended abruptly and I was like oh wow it's a really weird place to end the book and then I was talking to Michael from Michael Book Lion and he and I realized that the audiobook had cut off for some reason and I didn't get the last couple of chapters and I've just been so butthurt about that that I just haven't wanted to go back and finish it. I also really didn't like this book for most of the time while I was reading it. It really took me forever to get through this audiobook. Like I think I started it in July or August. Like I don't even remember when I started it, but it took me forever to even get to the point where I was at. There are seriously so many moments in this book that just made me be like, what the fuck? Like I just, I honestly considered making a video just called WTF, A Torch Against the Night, where I just like literally talked about all the moments that made me very confused. Also, didn't they announce recently that this is gonna be like a five book series? I don't think I can commit to that. The next book I have, I've been reading for even longer. I started it in June, and that is The Forbidden Wish by Jessica Corey. I really, really loved this book so much when I started it. It's basically an Aladdin retelling, and the main character is the genie, and then Aladdin is another character, and so there's a lot of twists and different takes on the Aladdin story, in it and it's just so interesting and I really loved it but I stopped when I had about 90 pages left and so I keep meaning to pick it up and just power through but I feel like the love I had for the book has lessened over time. If I had read this all in one sitting I probably would have rated it five stars but now that it's sat for so long I feel like I'm gonna end up rating it four stars but it's like not the book's fault, it's my fault. I don't know. It's really good though from what I read. I really, really want to see beautiful fan art from it. Like I actually tried to Google fan art from this book because there are so many beautiful scenes between Aladdin and the genie and I just... I wish I could draw because I would draw them. 
And the next book I have, I actually haven't been reading for very long, but I haven't gotten very far in it. The writing style is beautiful, but there's something about it that just hasn't caught me yet. So I've only read about 30 pages of it, but that is The Summer That Melted Everything by Tiffany McDaniel. This, I think, is technically literary fiction, and basically it's about a young boy, I think in the 80s, and his dad is a lawyer who's very religious, and so he writes a letter to Satan's inviting him to come to their small town in Ohio and so a little boy shows up claiming to be the devil and so I've only gotten about 30 pages into it and the devil has showed up and I think if I get further into the book I'll really like it but it's just very different from anything that I typically read and so I think it's been a little hard for me and the last book I want to show you is my greatest shame of all time I started this book last December and I just haven't finished it yet and that is Echoes by Laura Tisdall the author herself actually sent me this book and believe me it's very good like it's so good but just for some reason I have that much left and I just like haven't finished it and I keep forgetting that I started it and I just I need to finish it it's literally like less than 100 pages left I don't know what my problem is but this is basically about a girl who is a hacker and she's in high school the forum that she's a part of for hackers is all of a sudden in trouble because people start going missing and so she has to use her hacker skills to like find them but the thing is she has to do it in real life rather than on the computer which is very scary for her and it's really interesting it's like super interesting I really really have liked what I've read of this book and I just desperately need to finish it so that's pretty much it for my currently reading video there is a lot of books that I'm in the middle of so many of them I just need to finish them let me know down below what you're currently reading if you have any suggestions for me or tips on how to finish books properly but yeah thank you all so much for watching you're all beautiful have a nice day I really they're very... Okay. No, oh, okay.